in Christ alone my hope is found he is my life my strength my song this cornerstone this solid ground up to the fiercest drought and storm what heights of love By all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light and my strength. My Hey friends, welcome to Worship Wednesday. I am Pamela Mary. If it is your first time joining us, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. If you've been here a million times, thank you so much for coming to hang out tonight. Drop in the comments where you're hanging out from. I would love to read that. Hey Susan, miss y'all. Hey Ian, Ian says, hi Pam, great to be here. Hey Joshua. Hey Emma, hey Craig, hey Edward, hey Coral. Emma says, evening, hello and God bless. Chris says, good evening Pamela, hello Dawn. Carl says, beautiful. Chris, hi, hi, hi. Matthew says, good evening, hello Nick. Edward says, good evening, how are you doing? I'm doing good. And Mark says, hi Pamela. Dawn says, hi there Pamela, you sound great. Y'all are awesome. I'm doing great because I get to hang out with you guys every Wednesday at this time. So thanks again for being here. I'm super happy y'all are here. If you're on Facebook, share this live. I'm going to share it myself. So y'all drop in the comments um, where you're watching from. Drop in the comments your favorite emoji if you want to. <laughs> hey, Byron. Susan says hi. Hello, Susan. I love, I love your girls' uh, new music. I'm so excited for them to drop their next song on Friday. They're just killing it. I just, I love it so much. They make me so excited. Byron says, hey there, Pamela. Hey, hey, hey. Let me get this link here so we can share it. Copy link, share across socials. Paste. Awesome. So it just started like about 20 minutes ago pouring down rain and then it stopped. So that was nice. I thought, all right, well, I hope we don't have thunderstorms during my life because that could cause problems, you know, connection, but it's gone. I've literally never had a live stream during a pouring down rain, uh, which is great. And I've, I, Honestly, like for as long as I've been a vocal coach, I've never lost power while coaching voice. Like I have batteries in my keyboard just in case and I've always got all these candles and stuff and battery power things, but I've never lost power when I was coaching voice and I have, have yet to have to deal with uh, a horrible thunderstorm. It's been raining during live storms, but not, not terrible thunderstorms. So. Hey, Corey, happy to have you here. Mark says, Montana loves you. You're awesome. Well, I love you. I love all y'all in Montana. Thank you. Steve says, good evening from Conroe. Hey to Conroe. Did the rain make it all the way up to Conroe? So that song, In Christ Alone, was by Keith Getty and Stuart Townen from 2001. So that is what's considered a modern hymn. Uh, not like the Gettys, uh, Keith and, what's his wife's name? Keith and, 
I have a CD over here, if there's like a physical CD. Um, they write modern hymns, that's their thing. It's not like contemporary Christian music s stuff. Like this next song I'm gonna play for you, Chris Tomlin, it's totally contemporary Christian, but Keith Getty, they write modern hymns. So this song here, How Great Is Our God, is a contemporary Christian music song. It is from 2004. This is Chris Tomlin, Ed Cash, and Jesse Reeves. It is the fifth most popular worship song today. Y'all know the drill if you've been here before. If you haven't, Worship Wednesday, we sing some old hymns, some contemporary Christian music songs, and some of my originals. So if you know this one, if you know How Great Is Our God, sing along, y'all, because that's what we do on Worship Wednesday. The splendor of the king Of in majesty Let all the earth rejoice All the earth rejoice He taps himself in light And darkness rides high Trembles at his voice Trembles at Great is our God, and He is right. Drop some, drop some emojis if God is great. Give me some prayer hands. Give me some angels. Give me some, some collapse, some applause. Thanks for all the hearts and the likes. I appreciate you guys. Ian says, "Love this song. So glad, Ian." Hello, Jay. Hello, William. Hi, Brian. William says. Thought I was on Insta, lol. Well, I'm, I'm on both, so he, you can be on both if you have two devices, or hop on Insta if you want, whatever you want. Insta, I'm on my, my personal Insta account. Um, my Pamela Mary Music account is, I'm not on that one. I'm on my Pamela Mary Music Facebook and Pamela Mary Kiefer, my personal Instagram account. So you can go either one. I don't care. I'm happy to have you. Brian says, good day from Arizona. And hi, Donald. Hey, Giles. Brian says, voice of an angel. Thank you, sir. Bridget says, good evening, beautiful Pam. I hope you're having a good day. Love listening to your music. You look so beautiful. You're a fan, Bridget. Bridget, you're always awesome. You're amazing. I appreciate you. Hey, Jim. Glad to have you here tonight. He says, hey, Pamela. Hello, Todd. Welcome from 77084. <laughs> yeah, hi. Hey, glad to have you. Chris says, just love your voice. Hey, David. William says, right. Yeah, whatever. Insta, Facebook. Um, David says, let's see. Ah, it just scrolled up. Good evening from Mount Vernon. Well, howdy to Mount Vernon. William says, how's the weather been down south? Been decent in Kansas. It's been nice. It's been back to, you know, warm and sunny, cloudy today, super cloudy, but I can still go outside and lay out and get my sunshine, vitamin D. Do y'all know that's important? You know, most people in America are vitamin D deficient, so take those supplements, but also if you get a chance to lay out, if you can go to the beach, go to the pool, just lay out, but what's really important is if you lay out and like in a bathing suit, like your trunk, your stomach, your back, that's what needs the sunshine. So if you're in a sunny area, soak up those rays because your body needs that vitamin D. Hope you wanted that health tidbit there. I'm also a health coach if y'all didn't know. <laughs> Brian says, say hi to Gypsy for me. <laughs> Gypsy's the best dog ever. William, hello. Willie says, awesome. Ross, hey. Hey Pam, how you doing tonight? 
Ross is watching over across the pond. Ross, I'm good. How are you doing? It's nice. It, it poured for like two seconds, and now it's beautiful, and my neighbors are taking a walk as they do every night, so didn't hinder their walk. It's a really, it's a really nice evening. <laughs> I'd be outside too if it weren't for this, you know, live stream I gotta do with y'all. No, I love this. I love being with you guys. So I did a, a, um, a poll on my fan club. If you are not part of my Pam and Mary fan club, my Pam's fam or fam club, fan club, three team, whatever, I would love to have you. The inv invitation link is, well, my regular website is www.pamelamarymusic.com. But the invitation link for my fan club is go.pamelamarymusic.com. Literally, go.pamelamarymusic.com to sign up for my fan club. I asked my fans which hymn, I gave them some choices, which hymn should I do, some choices from my set list. And they chose this one, so I'm gonna be playing Chosen by My Fans by, um, said, out of the suggestions that I gave them, one with the most votes wins, and that was voted by um, Scotty Lopez and Richard Brown and Bob Kozak. This is It Is Well With My Soul from 1873. This has an amazing story behind this song. This guy lost everything. He lost his family and somehow he was able to write It Is Well With My Soul. That's, that's just an amazing thing to be able to, to do when you've lost your, your kids, your family, your wife. But y'all look up, I've told that story before during a Worship Wednesday, but go look that story up. It's absolutely amazing. And uh, it is well with my soul is a pretty well-known song, so y'all, if you know it, I would love it if you'd sing along with me. When peace It is well with my soul. That was the the hymn that won this week's poll. If you want to join my fan club and be able to vote on some of my set list, go to go.pamelamarymusic.com. G-O.pamelamarymusic.com. Bittner James. Hello. Can is it just James? Like, is your name first name James? Can I call you James? Ross says. Good, we should be getting better news later today about lots more places opening because we haven't had much good news still. Yeah, Europe is in a very different position than we are in the States. And some places in the States, they're uh, still on lockdown. But in Texas, we're open. We opened up several weeks ago. So I'm glad, glad some places are opening up for you, Ross. Brian says, Amen. All right. Hey, Michael. Don says, Beautiful. Brian says, It is well with my soul. I'm glad. Steve says, I needed this tonight. I'm glad to have you here, Steve. Glad, glad you're here. Glad some music is speaking to you. Chris says, Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that so much. 
I always read to you guys from a devotional book, Jesus Calling for Comfort. And tonight's devotion says, be willing to go out on a limb with me if that is where I am leading you. It is the safest place to be. Your desire to live a risk-free life is a form of unbelief. Your longing to live close to me is at odds with your attempts to minimize risk. You are approaching a crossroads in your journey. In order to follow me wholeheartedly, you must relinquish your tendency to play it safe. Lead me, uh, let me lead you step by step through this day. If your primary focus is on me, you can walk along perilous paths without being afraid. Eventually, you'll learn to relax and enjoy the adventure of our journey together. As long as you stay close to me, my sovereign presence protects you wherever you go. The verse tonight says, Those who know your name will trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Psalms 9, 9, 10. Psalm 9.10. So drop in the comments if anything jumped out at you. I was thinking while I was reading that, that <laughs> be willing to go out on a limb with me. If that is where I'm leading you. It is the safest place to be. I was like, well, that would be a great segue into Ready to Fly. But I was literally about to play one of my other songs. But I think that I need to play Ready to Fly after that one. Because that's kind of what Ready to Fly is. Be willing to go out on a limb with me. Ready to Fly is about taking that leap. Jumping off that cliff. <laughs> Just uh, even if you're not ready. If you have him. Then you've got the angels on your side. So it's the safest place to be. Your desire to live a risk-free life is a form of unbelief. So y'all, I think that is the perfect segue into my song, Ready to Fly. That's literally almost been out for an entire year now. So here is Ready to Fly. Take that leap, you guys. Got eternal peace. Valley's low and gonna bring me down. I got redemption and a brand new crown. Holy roller, come and roll with me. Got them angels all around me, gonna spread my wings. I'm ready to fly. I'm ready to soar. Somehow it's calm in the middle of the hurricane. 
this. I'm ready to fly, coming right off of that devotional about being willing to go out on a limb with me and fly. <laughs> Take that leap and fly. <laughs> That's ready to fly. That was my story of um, parting ways from my former band and doing the solo thing. Um, and there are some things in my life that I was like, this is not how this is supposed to happen. This is not the right timing. This is not the right attitude. Like these certain things were not supposed to happen, not planned. This is not how we wanted it to go. I did not want this, 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 and this to happen. But, uh, so I was kind of left with, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a solo career sooner than I had intended and ready to fly came out of that and be willing to go out on a limb with me. If that is where I'm leading you, it's the safest place to be. So that's my, that's how I responded to that. And so that's what that devotional meant to me. If that devotional meant anything to y'all, go ahead and drop that in the comments. Like I said, I would love to read that. Let me catch up with some of your comments here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Steve says, I'm ready to grow wings and take off and fly now. All right. Well, I know that there are some X-Men that can grow wings and do that. I don't know about the literally growing wings, but definitely figuratively. And Bobby says, hey, watching from Adrian, Missouri. Hello, Bobby. Brian says, amen. Becky says, hello. I'm glad to have the Comer family here. Bridget says, just wanted to... Uh, say hi. I can't stay, but I'll watch tomorrow. I'm sorry if I want to. You know that you're my favorite person ever. I know you have a super early, early wake up. So thanks for popping on and sleep well, Richard. Echo Artists, hello. Glad to see you here. Mark says, good job. Brian says, we're with you. Chris, thanks for the half the wave. Hey, Mike. And Steve says, change is scary, but necessary to grow. Yeah, you're right. But you're right on both accounts. And uh, you're never alone. So there's, what, like 365 times in the Bible that basically do not fear is mentioned. Fear not, do not be afraid. So... right here is actually a Zach Williams song. I loved when I first heard Zach Williams' song Chainbreaker. I was like, this is, this is such a great song. And it came at a time in my life when Chainbreaker meant a lot to me because just a couple years prior, I had kicked an alcohol addiction that I had dealt with for many years, many, many years. And so I was with a guy who'd been dating for a while and he said, Pamela, I hate being around you when you're drunk. And that just like, was like literally, I felt like a brick just got thrown on the side of my head. And I was like, what? I don't ever want you to hate me for anything. Like, I loved him, and I didn't want to be hated, for sure. And I knew exactly how he felt, too, because I hated being around him when he was drunk. I didn't feel safe. I didn't feel like he would be able to take care of me. I felt scared. So, right then and there, it was like, I don't, I don't need this anymore. And I probably got drunk only, like, three or four times after that. And then I quit entirely. And that was a that was a couple years ago, a few years ago. I don't know, three three years ago. I quit. I don't even remember anymore. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but so this chain breaker song that Zach Williams wrote is about breaking those chains of addiction and stronghold. So if you have a stronghold and addiction to a substance, this song is totally for you. 
but I realized that I had to have it produced in my country style. It's a contemporary Christian song, and I had it produced in my country style when he and I broke up because I realized that I had developed another addiction. I was addicted to him because I was putting my thoughts of him and that breakup over, like, that was consuming me. Just like alcohol can consume you. And that I thought of always having to get that next buzz. So if you've ever been addicted to a substance like alcohol or drugs or smoking cigarettes or even addicted to a person, and this song totally goes out to you. This is Chainbreaker. chains of addiction if that is to a substance if that is to like alcohol drugs smoking cursing uh, to a person so just know that he the Almighty God can do anything and if you need him to break that chain of addiction somehow then he'll put the right people in your path like he did me or he will do something if it's truly in your heart to break that chain of addiction. He'll do that for you. So 
to that chain breaker Zach Williams and I still love that song it doesn't have to be my song but his version I love it I love it so Don says 17 years I saw it this month I used to brag I would never quit I learned to say never God is good all the time I'm still a sinner and we know Jesus loves sinners sinner he dislikes sin amen Don congratulations 17 years and you stopped this month so so awesome congratulations that is I know how hard that is because I was an alcoholic for I think it was 17 years I don't pay attention anymore but yeah so I know how hard that is so congrats kudos big time Nelvin says amen thank you thank you lots of emojis I appreciate that Steve says I also love fear is a liar by Zach Williams you know I just love Zach Williams so <laughs> that he has a duet with Dolly Parton I mean come on Becky says God is always with you thank you for this song you're never alone true 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 hello Michael hello Alan So you guys, I have a, I have a tip jar. If I've made you smile at all tonight, I would love it if you would drop something into the virtual tip jar. You can do that on PayPal or Venmo. Um, Pamela Mary is my my username, or Cash App is my whole name, Pamela Mary Kiefer. And I also have a CD. Me show that to you. I have a CD that I would love to autograph for you. So if you want a CD, I know some of y'all have it. So drop that in the comments. That oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> if you have a CD, let everybody know that you have a CD. I don't think you can add pictures to these comments, can you? On, on live streams. But if you can, that'd be amazing. I just don't know if you can. Brian says, me. Hello, Alan. Uh, did I say I got everybody? Okay, way cool. But not only do I have CDs, I have uh, Take Down a Giant is my current single. And I've got a really cool merch bundle. So I have this autograph picture is the album cover and I've got this cool bracelet set that says can you see that on insta I don't know it's kind of bright. there we go maybe says even the smallest of us can take down a giant and the silver knot to remind you to stay tied to Jesus but you can get both of those that would be awesome that's in my shop and I think the direct link actually there's a link in my bio on Instagram and on the description on Facebook and YouTube. So I would love it if you guys would pick up a CD, pick up some Take Down a Giant merch. That'd be amazing. And I wrote this song about my story with multiple sclerosis. And I posted about it the other day because it was actually last Thursday that was the third, third, fifth anniversary, my five year anniversary of having MS. And it's not something I celebrate. MS is incurable. So I'll have that for the rest of my life. But it was just like, wow, I've had this for five years now. Last Thursday. And uh, so I sent you guys an email if you're on my email list. I made a post on Instagram. I made a post on Facebook. But I just want you to know you're not alone if you're fighting a physical battle like I have MS, among other things. But that's the most severe that I have. If you're fighting a mental emotional thing like I also deal with depression and people with MS, have are um, two to 
three times more likely to have depression compared to the average general population. And so if you deal with depression, anxiety, then you're fighting a battle that this song is for you. And if you're dealing with financial troubles, COVID shut the world down. If your job got shut down, if you're making less money because of it, I can relate. I hate it. I uh, love performing and I love vocal coaching, but you know, the world changed. So if you're battling a financial battle, by all means, this song is totally for you. And if you're battling a relational battle because you got cheated on, you got divorced, this song is totally for you. This is Take Down a Giant, my current single. Take Down a Giant. take down a giant even the smallest of us can take down a giant and uh, guys I want you to pray for Malin who's seven years old battling cancer and so we want her to take down that giant and uh, she just recently had to shave her head because she's losing her hair so seven years old that brings tears to my eyes and I'm just trying not to cry so you guys pray for Malin and I also wanted to let you know that I have entered Take Down a Giant into some songwriting competitions that probably have thousands and thousands of entries, but uh, we'll see what happens. But I wanted to thank 
some of my sponsors. So I thanked last week, I thanked some, some sponsors. This week I have some a uh, few more sponsors that I wanted to thank for sponsoring the entry fees. And that's Scotty Lopez and Debbie Dodds and Jeremy Yoder. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring the entry fees to submit Take Down a Giant into some contests. So I, I uh, submitted that a few days ago and then a couple more uh, open to be able to enter tomorrow. So I'll be entering in two more competitions tomorrow. So if you would like to be one of the sponsors, then I would I would love it if you want to sponsor Take Down a Giant. Again, you can go to my PayPal or my Venmo, um, Pamela Mary, or the Cash App, Pamela Mary Kiefer, but make sure that you put in the notes that you want to sponsor for the contest entry. That would be cool. And of course, I'll keep you, back, keep you guys posted on that if I hear anything, who knows? But remember, you can always pick up the Take Down a Giant bracelet and autograph picture and the MP3 and um, the chord charts that's in the bundle. You can also get the CD. It's all in my shop. Link in the bio and Instagram. Link in my uh, description for my Facebook and in YouTube. But I totally appreciate you guys, and I hope that you're listening to Take Down a Giant a million times, being the, this is my current single. That would be amazing. Stream it, share it. Hello, Joseph. Ian says that's his new favorite song. Really, Ian? I appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And backing up here. Sweet. Hello, EJ. Chris gave me a whole lot of emojis. I love it. Thank you. Don says, keep them eyes on Jesus. Walk the line. That's right. Keep those eyes on Jesus. And walk the line is a, is a great Johnny Cash song. <laughs> I deal with a mental illness, Joanne says. It's hard. I thank you for your kindness. Ah, oh, Joanne, well... I wrote this song for you. I wrote this song for people like you. I wrote this song sp specifically for, like, I, I know, I haven't met personally a lot of my fans, but I know some of the things that you guys go through. I know that some of you out there have epilepsy and diabetes, like serious, and um, hydroencephalopathy, and cerebral palsy, and cancer and so literally I wrote Take Down a Giant about my story but I also wanted it to be meaningful to you too because I'm not the only one in the world that has this battle of MS and I know a lot of you guys have these battles and so I wanted it to be for you so that's definitely for you so I'm glad you like it Joanne and Brian says, amen, amen, a little girl, wait, a little gift to a friend. <laughs> and Britt says, I have epilepsy. Yeah, that, yeah, this is for you. <laughs> Steve says, still healing from retina surgery. It's been my giant, but God is getting me through it one day at a time. Yeah, I, I know you've been dealing with that for a while, but it'll heal. I just, I just know it. And Becky says, this is my favorite song, Take Down a Giant. Thank you, Pamela. God bless you. I appreciate that so much, Becky. Got two of y'all saying it's your favorite song. That makes my day. <laughs> Frank says, hello, you sound great. Love that song. Oh, thank you. Becky says, praying for her. Yeah. Keep Malin in your prayers. Seven, cancer. Take Down a Giant, Malin. Chris says, praying for her. Awesome. Frank says, oh, good luck. Songwriting contest. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, good luck. And Edward says, I'm glad you're working with God every day and playing music. That is why God is calling for you to do this, to be a witness to him, to give us the way to follow him. I, music is my gift and that's 
even when like huh like music is extremely expensive y'all have no idea unless you're in music you don't even know so it's uh my passion and i have to do it i, I just i have to <laughs> i have to play i have to write i have been doing it my whole life i have songs since i was a kid and it's just what comes out of me so i'm glad to share it with you guys share my gift Corey says, a lady asked me about my bracelets tonight. I was able to share the message and link to TikTok Giant. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> Aww. Corey has the Take Down a Giant bracelets and she said that a lady asked about them tonight and she got to tell her, "You're that's the best advertising is y'all. Y'all are the best advertising. So pick up those bracelets, especially it's a good... Mother's Day gift. Just saying. Mom's Day is coming up in May, so you should get the gift now. Mother's Day gift. Buy the Take Down a Giant merch bundle. Hello, Joseph. Becky says, good luck. Thanks. Brian says, sending prayers. Thank you. Marty says, you're awesome. Pamela Mary, keep singing beautifully. You're awesome. Thank you, Marty. Don says, Thank you. The sound grows on me more every time I hear it. <laughs> I, I, they say you have to hear a, sev a song seven times before you like it or before it, it, I don't know. It's something about before you like it. I don't know. I like songs before seven times, but maybe something about seven and then you, you'll like a song. So Hopefully, if you've been here enough times, then you like my music enough. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming back week after week. For those of you who are here the first time, welcome. And if you want to be part of my street team, my fan club, that you can go to the invite link at go.pamelamarymusic.com. Go.pamelamarymusic.com. And you can... Sign up to be part of my street team, my fan club, and they get to help pick a song for my set list. That's what it is well with my soul. That was chosen by my street team. So I'll be asking them next week, what should I play? Brian says, okay, Miss Pamela, Take Down a Giant is tied with Paradise, Texas. I know, Brian, I know you like Paradise, Texas, but yeah, you did tell me that it's, it's right up there. So thank you guys so much for coming. I appreciate y'all so much. And I can't wait to hang out with you next week. And in the meantime, I hope that you'll comment on my Facebook posts so we can stay in touch. And join the street team if you're not already, but comment on those Facebook posts so we can keep the conversation going all week until I see y'all again for Worship Wednesday, next Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I love y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out and let's do it again in a week. Bye guys.